All right, so what's up guys? So we're out here on another run, out here doing this craziness for all you guys to simply sit back, watch, admire, and enjoy right? as it's about to rain, but we ain't scared of a little rain, little downpour, and you know, making our way through, right? Not letting it affect us mentally, right? Specifically, in regards to anxiety and depression, right? It's such a common issue for so many individuals, right? It's probably more prevalent than you think because so many, you know, cases of that go unreported. So, now for you, don't worry, because we're gonna give you four reasons why exercise can help you in regards to battling anxiety and depression, right? Exercise is awesome for you. It's a great, useful tool. It's literally like, I would consider it to be a kryptonite for those ailments. So pretty much reason number one why exercise helps you in regards to anxiety and depression is, you know, the release of endorphins. Right? Our body is designed to mask pain, right? specifically through the release of chemicals, right? because it knows that you gotta do things like work out and get better and stronger. But, you know, there's a specific process, right? And the process is breaking down the muscle and coming back stronger. But for so many people, you know, that can hinder their progress, right? If they're too stuck in feeling the pain and suffering, right? So our body creates these beautiful things called endorphins, which as you probably felt it as runner's high. Or when you're driving home from the gym, you feel all great, right? You are singing to the music. Everything feels awesome because you had a killer workout, right? And who's to blame you? Because that's awesome. You made a great choice for your day. But you know the high is specifically tied to the painful elements of it, right? The pain, you know, of working out your biceps and triceps, right? Overloading them with so much weight. And, you know, your body has to figure out how to cover that up. And, you know, an analogy I like to think about is like when you're at the dentist and they give you laughing gas, right? When they're about to pull a tooth or do something very painful. And for many people, the laughing gas can make you feel great. You start laughing, you feel awesome. But, you know, it's specifically designed to mask the pain of the tooth being pulled, right? So think about it, right? You can want to have your tooth pulled as much as you want, but it doesn't replace the fact that you're gonna get the pain of it get pulled out of you, right? Just like your body, when you're working out your muscles like crazy, right, you're still gonna have that pain of overloading and overworking them. But if you're doing the right thing, because there's nothing wrong with that, right, exactly what you wanna do. But you gotta realize that there's a mechanism behind that method to the madness. So, you know, those endorphins specifically can help you through, you know, your battle with anxiety. And depression will make you feel great. They'll give you a high, right? That will mask that pain. And specifically, you know, reason number two is a release of dopamine. Far too many people, you know, go through these bouts of anxiety and depression, you know, when they have droughts and their dopamine, right? They could, you know, lose the ability to get it and worry themselves, right? That's where the anxiety comes from because of the risk of not getting that dopamine. But if you're able to go to the gym and produce that dopamine, 
naturally by working out, you are going to be able to get it. But you won't have to worry about it coming from other sources because you've already gotten it from the gym. Right? There's no need to really go out and search for it because you already have enough. And obviously the more the merrier. But you know, almost like rats in the experiment, you know, if you hide you know food in a maze for a rat, the rat's gonna want to chase after the dopamine, right? Which is getting the food and eating it. But you know, if you give the rat dopamine while it's there, it'll feel great. Right? It might still chase after the cheese, but it won't feel so anxious and nervous and scared and scour its way around. So for you, really think about it, right? Think, you know, about your dopamine and how it's affecting your mental health, specifically your anxiety and your depression. So tip number three is the act of progress. Right? Because when you work out, you're moving towards a goal, right? Whether it may be a better body, getting stronger, getting faster, you name it, it's possible through that exercise. And the very act of working towards that is eliminating the depression and that anxiety. Because far too often, we can fall into those lumps and those spells when we are not making progress, when we are simply stagnating, right? It can feel horrible because, you know, we're not making any progress, right? We feel stuck. And from being stuck, you feel like you're wasting time. And from then, you know, you'll feel like crap. You'll get anxious. You'll get depressed. <coughs> and when you go and work out, you start to see your muscles start to grow. You start to see the workouts. Those same routines that you were doing get easier and easier and easier. And before you know it, you'll be getting better and you'll be happier right? because that's where the happiness comes from is a progress right not necessarily the end goal but working towards it working towards your dreams and making them reality right because we all have dreams right specifically fitness dreams so do that right work on yourself and on your body you will get out of that rut right you'll start to see your improvements so tip number four as far as combating anxiety and depression is that it serves as an outlet right you get to take out your energy on something else right one of the reasons why i like to lift heavy weights or box right because you get to take out your energy on a bag right on a weight pushing it up right because far too often we have so much pent-up energy that goes nowhere and if you just store it within yourself of course you'll get anxious right because your body wants to let it out but it's stuck there and you know ruminating those thoughts right, of you wanting to do something but you simply aren't. You believe that you can't. And that's the birth of that anxiety and also depression. And because the anxiety serves no purpose. It just makes us scared, right? And what benefit is being scared, right? It's almost like a waste of time because it directs your focus away from what it is that you are doing right now. It makes you worry about what could and should happen. But if you're working out, you're releasing that energy, you are working towards your goals, right? And, you know, getting better, getting stronger. And when you, it comes time for you to have to do your responsibilities, right? Like go to work and go about your day, you'll feel all the wiser and all the better because you will have 
those hours underneath your belt right, for you to simply take up and use. So, you know, these are the four ways that exercise can help you combat anxiety and depression, right? So you can get over that common issue that so many people face in today's day and age. But, you know, far too often, you can get lost and stuck in that rut. But, you know, with today's tips, you will hopefully get out of that and be well on your way to having great mental health. So, without further ado, we say thank you very much and 